today we are talking about personal brand clarity and we're going to cover three different concepts uh, in detail today one is how you can be clear as you right your personal brand identity who you are how to be introducible how to be referable then we're going to talk about how to have a big idea and how to convey that to people and then we're going to talk about how to be clear with your content so first the people how to be clear as a person how to be clear with an idea and then how to be clear with your content okay so let's dive into people first so when I was at uh, PodFest, which is a podcasting conference that I was speaking at this past week, when I was there, obviously you meet a lot of people. It's a, you know thousands of people at this convention and you're running into new people every day. Now, as we are meeting new people, as I'm out there, I'm networking, I'm building relationships, I'm getting to know more podcasters, more content creators, I notice a few things, right? And one of the things is obviously you're meeting a lot of people and in a short amount of time, as you're meeting someone you've never met before, you're being introduced. And it's always interesting to me that there are some people who can be crystal clear very quickly. You know exactly who they are, what they do. You might, after a longer conversation, get to know them better. But right off the bat, you understand the basics of how they help people. And that helps you actually introduce them to others. And it makes them more memorable to you. So being introducible really is about being clear right off the bat about what you are. Now, I've heard many ways of people helping people do this, right? Giving them like little statements to fill out, thinking about how they say things. One popular one is to say who you are, who you help, and how you help them, right? So it would be something like, hi, I'm Brandon Berkmeyer. I help entrepreneurs build podcasts or something like that, right? But you can imagine people get a little too creative with this, right? It would be something like, hey, I'm Brandon. I help self-employed go-getters find their voice, build their vision, and chase their dreams, right? If someone said that to me, I would have no idea what that means. It is off the wall, too creative, not specific. And honestly, after you start adding a bunch of fluffy words to it, People stop listening. It needs to be very simple. So I'll be honest, when I introduce myself, I don't even start with how I help people. I basically give them a little piece, a little glimpse of who I am. I say, hey, I'm Brandon. My podcast is Brands on Brands. It's about branding and marketing. I talk about branding and marketing, right? It's very broad category, but it puts me in a bucket. People are like, oh, he talks about branding and marketing. He's in that branding and marketing industry, right? If I wanna learn more about that, I want to continue this conversation and I'll dive deeper and ask more questions, right? Being introducible sometimes means you have to actually step backwards from your niche and explain to people just generally what bucket to put you in, right? What category to put you in so they understand. It helps that I have a fun to say name of my show, which is Brands on Brands. So now anytime anyone sees me, they're like, Brands on Brands. What's up, Brands on Brands? It helps me be introducible. And when people meet, you know, say, hey, what's up? They're like, hey guys, you have to meet Brandon. You have to meet Brands on Brands. He's fun. He's nice, whatever it is. It helps people know exactly who I am. And it helps that my name and my, my brand sound the same, right? Brandon sounds like Brands on Brands. I'll tell you, it makes it so much easier to meet people. So when you are building your brand identity, please think about how you're introducing yourself. What can you say to keep it very simple to help people start to put you in a bucket to understand at least how you help people, right? Are you a fitness coach? Are you a life coach? Are you in the mindset space? Are you in the profitability space or the productivity space? Like what space are you in? All right, that's the people part of it. The second thing is the people I met that I want to talk to for a little bit longer, generally it's a lot of them are speaking or they have a podcast and they want to explain the podcast to me. The people that had a big idea really stood out right? The people who could convey what the big idea is, what it was and how it mattered really stood out. Or if they had something to teach, what the big idea was that they wanted people to walk away with. And really this boils down to a couple of things, right? It was, did you offer an insight that had people think differently, right? It poses a question in a way that makes people think, huh, I never thought about something like that. That makes me 
either reprioritize something I didn't realize was important or you learn something completely new, right? You make think people think different. And part of that is getting out there and quickly being able to explain your idea. Cause I think one of the problems is when people explain their ideas, they talk for way too long, right? They kind of go on these long winding paths that you completely lose people on. If you can get to your point quickly, then you bring people into your world where they understand, and then you can elaborate, then you can see if they have questions, then you can flip the conversation around and talk about them. But if all you're doing is explaining your idea over and over again, and in longer and longer ways, you're never actually getting to know the other person. So it should be a give and take and being concise helps with that. But I want to get back to this idea of thinking differently, having a big idea for my talk. You know, I explain things that are pretty standard knowledge. There's only so many marketing channels. So generally I'm talking about things that they've actually heard of before. I'm not introducing people to something brand new, but I might be introducing to them an idea of why one of these things they've heard of is an important focus that they should spend a little more time on. And if I can frame that for them in the form of a question or in the form of an idea, then that helps. And sometimes I'll, I'll give them a what if question. I'm like, well, what if X, Y, Z happened? What would that do to your business? Or I'll give them an idea that's, that asks a question like, hey, if your audience had one more hour to spend with you, how would you use that time? Or if you only had one hour in the day to spend on something important in your business, what would that be? Or what's the biggest thing that's moving the needle in your business? Questions that take people towards an idea that would make sense and make them think differently about how they prioritize their world, right? So every time I give a talk now, every time I speak about my ideas, I try to think, what about this idea is different? What about this idea is important? And how do I frame it in a way that makes people think, that makes people open their eyes to potentially a new possibility where they would want to prioritize something? So that's the next thing. And the third thing, after you know, we figure out how to introduce ourselves, we figure out how to introduce our big ideas. The last thing that I learned on my little trip to Orlando was that if you have a content platform, right? Let's say you have a show. It could be a YouTube show. It could be a blog. It could be a podcast. In this case, it was a lot of podcasts, right? That podcast is a platform. That podcast is your show. That show needs to be just as clear as you are as a person and just as clear as your ideas are. And when you explain it to people, it should have some of these same elements. The name of the show should have clarity. The idea in the show should be clear and specific. And there should be an important reason to listen for the people you're running into. That content is how you are sharing your ideas with the world. That's how you're sharing your perspective with the world. It has its own identity and being clear in those, in those three elements, the name, the idea, and the why to listen is just as important. And I'll, I'll tell you, there are so many shows out there that could be clearer and whether they are using words that are completely vague or actually using words that are specific, but they're the wrong words in terms of findability on the internet, those two mistakes can get you completely lost in the world of podcasting. There are podcasts out there that just use someone's name and that person maybe isn't a celebrity, right? The Jane Jameson show, right? Or the Jan Jansen show or the Mike Mikeson show, whatever it might be, or daily talk with, right? The most common words used in podcast titles are the words like chats and talks or podcast. And they just add a word to it like daily or their name or something like that. That's usually not enough. So I hope people are thinking more category specific and keyword specific with their names. You know, like if you are a podcast that offers financial advice about crypto, you should use the word crypto in your podcast name. And if there are a hundred podcasts with the word crypto in it, that's okay. Add a second word that dives a little deeper, right? Add a second word that, is, that helps people figure that out. You can niche down a little bit, but you should still keep the bigger keyword in there, right? Crypto for beginners, crypto for entrepreneurs, crypto web three and NFTs, right? You can add other categories. 
crypto for creative types, you know, whatever that thing might be. Figure out a way to add other keywords in so that they start to work together and bring the right people to you for your show. After you get that name clarity, make sure you have an idea that says what we do in this show is we educate people to be able to personally invest or we explore the world out there to bring you the news that matters or whatever the thing might be is. We show you real world examples of how we are using crypto in our everyday lives. You know, whatever the thing is, find your idea, make it clear, make it specific and then give people a reason to listen. Let them know that when they are done listening, this is what's gonna happen. This is what's gonna transform in their lives. This is the result of listening by the end of it, right? When you can come up with name clarity, idea clarity, and give people a reason why, your show now is easier to understand if it's for you, you know, for the listener. They can decide if it's for them or not. And it's easier to share out with other people. Oh, you guys need a, a podcast about crypto? This is the one to listen to. This is the, the one that really covers this exact thing for people like us, right? That's what you want people to think. This show is for me. This show is for us. So if more people can get out there, if you're building your personal brand and you can think about how do I as a person make sure that I am clear and introducible in my personal brand identity? How do I make sure that my ideas are easy to understand and help people think differently about their world around them? And then how do I, with my content, make sure that my show, my platform is clear in its name, its idea, and its reason why. That's what I got for you guys today. Now, for a lot of you, if you are new to this show, I'd love to send you to my website, brandsonbrands.com, to learn more about who we are, what we offer, and how we are building this. But if you need a little bit more one-on-one -on -one help, go to brandsonbrands.com forward slash coach to book time with me, set up a free call. And as always, if you have a chance to make sure you hit that ratings and subscribe button or the follow button now, leave a rating review. Let me know that you're listening, connect with me, or if nothing else, go to the website, join the, the newsletter that sends out tips every week at brandsonbrands.com. I'd appreciate it. And otherwise, uh, I appreciate you guys, and I will catch you next time. Brands on Brands.